Welcome back watch fans. Today I have a special watch that I actually got from a colleague and co-worker. I offered to work on it um, when I heard I asked him what it was. He said oh I've got this Ingersoll. Uh, it's an older one and so I was intrigued of course because I'm a fan of Ingersolls and what he gave me to work on was an Ingersoll Newton. So I don't know if you guys are aware of this watch but this is a rather rare watch. This is one of Ingersoll's um, 120th, 120th, yes, I think, 120th anniversary watches that they produce. It's the Ingersoll Newton. Um, it's hard to get a good, a good picture on this because it's got a curved face, but it, it's a it's a spectacular watch. It was one of Ingersoll's earlier watches that they produced when they began. Uh, producing sort of high-end watches again. Um, as as many of you know, Ingersoll was a, a good brand back in the day. Uh, they were a good American brand, then they were purchased uh, by a UK company, and then also, uh, I think it's Hong Kong now, but uh, excellent company. Uh, they've really brought back the brand, and, and I'm a huge fan. This is one of their early, early automatic um watches not particularly uh reliable unfortunately a lot of them broke as as did this one although i fixed it it wasn't much i'll go into detail um i'd like to show a short and quick video of ingersoll before i go any further though so i will do that and then we'll get right back to the watch All right, so as you see, this was probably one of the ones that they showed in the video, but this was their one of their anniversary watches. Very special watch. Each one is signed. I don't mind showing the limited edition number. It's not a big deal. Uh, it doesn't actually show who got it. You can't trace it back to my friend. But uh, spectacular watch. It's the Ingersoll Newton All Stainless Steel. <clears throat> it's a 5 ATM, and I'll put that up there on the right. 5 ATM means, of course, that uh, you can shower with it if you so desire, although it's got a leather watch strap. 
Now, when I got it, um, one of the problems that these watches had is that they stopped working. I would say more than a third of these, unfortunately, the early ones were were sent back to Ingersoll because they had issues, and it was primarily because of the movement. Now, I think it's a great movement. Uh, it is a Chinese movement. It's a Seagull. Uh, Seagull TY2806, and I'll go into some detail about that so you can see. But what I ended up having to do, and I don't know if you can see it, but I, I will show it in uh, in a picture. The He sent it to me because it stopped working, and he wasn't sure why. See that little window right there? I'll put a little arrow on it so you can see, but... In that little window there's an arm and what that does is that arm keeps this this wheel right there from moving and that would allow you to wind it through the automatic movement what happened is that little arm popped up I'm not sure why it popped up but it did and the movement stopped auto winding even even though the thing would spin it stopped winding it didn't take much Although I didn't even realize it until I started taking it apart. Um, I had already taken the balance wheel off and and then I saw it and I was like, damn it. So I put it back on. And I took a couple of pictures with that still on and some of the pieces, but um, I, I oiled some of the jewel points while I had it out. I, I didn't take the whole thing apart and put it in the ultrasonic cleaner because it wasn't worth it, but I did clean it uh, completely. I re-greased the O-rings. Um, I cleaned in here as well. But before I go any further, I do want to show a quick video of the movement so you can get an idea of uh, what to expect uh, on, on this watch. So stand by, and after that, I'll go into the last minute details of the watch. The Ingersoll Newton uses the Seagull TY2806 automatic movement, which is a low-cost but high-quality 21-joule Chinese-made movement. The movement has a similar train layout to the Japanese Miyota 8215 movement and the winding mechanism has a Seiko style auto winding magic lever system inspired by Seiko. This provided Siegel with a modern, simple and efficient full size wristwatch caliber that served as the basis of a myriad of complicated variants. The TY2806 movement is produced by Tijin Siegel in China. It is a cost-effective, high-quality design that is used by a lot of watch brands such as Android, Rotary, Ingersoll, Fossil, and Zodiac watches, among others. One Swiss company uses the ST16 eBotch in their watches, but they brand it the CL888 and it is labeled Swiss made. The movement runs at 21,600 beats per hour and has a power reserve of 36 hours. The balance is supported by an Inca block anti-shock system. The movement allows for hacking on the seconds hand and also supports a hand winding feature. So Seagull makes good movements. I like them. Typically you, you want to see a Swiss movement or an American movement, but um, these Chinese movements have really improved over the years. This is one of the earlier ones, and it did... I would say the technology isn't bad. A lot of it, quite honestly, is stolen. Um, you know, China has a long history of watchmaking, a very long history. But uh, the this movement, unfortunately, suffered from poor manufacturing, even though the watch itself is, is very high quality. Um, but it's working now and it shouldn't be an issue anymore. Uh, I, I bent it slightly so that it will stay in place and it won't pop out. Um, must have gotten hit pretty hard, I suppose. <clears throat> the one thing I don't like about the movement is it, it's, it's actually a thing that I don't like about the Ingersoll, the automatic Ingersolls, the ones with the date, month, and uh, day of the week. While this is spectacular, these buttons here you would think would belong to a chronograph. And that's the one thing that I've always not been thrilled with. So uh, I don't want to mess it all up, but uh, I guess I will. I've got it currently set. I can change it back. Um, this is how you change the day, the day of the week. Now, it does change on its own. It does, in fact, change on its own. But um, it, it doesn't make sense to me that you've got these huge buttons to do that. Um, I'll change the month, but I don't feel like changing the day because I don't want to have to go back. Now, what I do like is that it also has 24-hour, and it also has a, 
uh, moon phase. So I really do like that. Um, it's a gorgeous watch, and it's actually a very expensive watch. Uh, the MSRP on this watch was seven seven ninety five, I believe it was, and they're very rare. You can't really find them anywhere. I, I found one for sale on consignment. They're asking four hundred ninety dollars. Um, I don't believe that that has anything to do with them not lasting because I think that they do, but I just think that people are keeping them because these are limited edition. It, it truly is a limited edition one. They didn't sell that many. Um, I mean, that's a large number, quite honestly, but still, it's a, it's a limited number. The model is IN1900WH. The WH references the face being white, BK. If that was a BK, then it would have a black face. And I'll pop one of those up right here, <laughs> gotta get my camera. I don't know where I, my camera is. Um, so bandwidth is 22 millimeters. Uh, case thickness, this is about 14 millimeters. We can check that right now just to make sure. 13.7, 13.8, that's good. Case diameter, I would say, what, 38, 39. Yep, 38, that's good. Um, it is a mineral crystal front and back. Uh, they they are sapphire coated, but it is a mineral crystal. It's nice, but but again, that's uh, back back on the movement real quick. I'm I'm hopping around because I want to get this this video done I, just so I can return this <laughs> tomorrow when I go to work. But all of these things change with with the the uh, the movement going past twelve o'clock midnight. The only one that doesn't change that you have to manually do yourself is the month. Which is not bad. Um, some of these other old seagull movements, you can't actually, these won't actually move with the change of day on its own. But it just seems weird to me that you've got these big buttons for that. Uh, I think personally it would have been so much better if they had made these cases and they had simply just not had these. Or they could have had one of those. I don't think I have one that I can show you. But um, a lot of the nicer watches, I, I used to have a, a Brio. It would be a small little... Almost like what you would hit on the old Casio watches to set the time. You'd push it in. You'd have to have like a pin. That's what they would have because you would typically never need to do that. And maybe have one for the month. I, I don't know. But they use this case also for their chronograph watch. And, and that's why. And they also still make these in quartz. And personally, I think the quartz watches are a much better buy for the Ingersoll because these buttons are actually for the chronograph. And these things are all changed by pulling out the crown. Now, this is a 10 ATM, and I already talked about it. Um, 5 ATM, sorry. So you can shower with it, I suppose, if you wanted to. The only reason why it's limited as much as it is because of these buttons. Now, they're misleading because the actual button themselves is just a little pintle that goes in. And it has an O-ring in there. So this is, on the, this is external, and it doesn't really protrude through the case except for a small little pinpoint and not a big block like you see here. But oddly enough, um, it is a good watch. It is a very good watch. It has a screw and crown, which I'll take it and you'll see right there. Screw and crown, it's actually very nice. Um, there is no, there is no gasket on the shaft itself, but there is one at the back of the crown. So I did grease that when I put that back together. <clears throat> and what's also interesting is watch this. I, I wasn't even aware that this was a thing. See the second hand stop. So it does have hacking feature for um, for it being an automatic. Now, now that's important obviously for a quartz watch because you want to save the battery. I don't really see the purpose of it on a uh, on an automatic watch, but I think it's very cool. You can also wind it manually this way as well, but it works just as good. So, uh, but I really like the Moon Phase. Um, it's, it, I, I, I mean, I really do like this watch. It is a spectacular watch. And it's a very rare watch. Um, you know, it doesn't have the value of obviously of a Rolex, but um, the one that they had on, uh, for sale, and I'll see if I can find a picture of it, wasn't in the best shape. It was a black one, and it was about 400 something. Uh, didn't come with anything. This one's well worn. Um, you can see the, the watch strap's a little bit beat up, but I, I put some uh, glove leather polish on it to kind of just soften it up so it's good. But it's got a deployment clasp. Uh, let's see what else can I talk about it. Oh, you know what? Let's look at the loom. Definitely want to see that. <clears throat> there we go. Pretty much everything lights up. I really like that. 
Very, very cool. Now, the little small hands don't really serve much purpose because you don't really know what it's looking at because <laughs> that's not lit up, but I do like that the, the uh, numerics are, are lit up. So, but again, very nice watch. Uh, it's, it's a very classy watch. Probably not something I'd wear every day, even though it's got all those features, but still very nice watch. And uh, I'd love to own one, and I think my friend will be very happy that I fixed it. So, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you hated this video, please leave a like also. You can really show me how much you hate it by giving, giving me a like. Um, <laughs> if uh, you have any comments about this watch or any watch recommendations, uh, please leave them in the comments below. And uh, I urge you to subscribe. It really helps me out and uh, it gives more credence to the channel and then I will do more videos. So thank you very much and have a good night.